what what else do you do in your daily life to keep yourself centered, grounded? Um, you mentioned nurturing your soul. What? Yeah, I do meditation. You know, I I do. I love guided meditation. I love walks. If I could pick one thing that I would love to do every day, it would just be to take a nice long walk uh, mm -hmm. in nature. I have a park a couple blocks away um, that I walk in all all seasons except in the winter where I cross country ski. Um, I, I love quiet time for myself. It's very important as a mom to get quiet time for yourself. Yeah. So, you know, it's always, I can always do more of that. And as we were talking before the interview, I feel like sometimes I don't give myself enough of that. And that is something that I'm always working on, giving myself more of. I do belly dancing. I'm in a belly dance troupe. So that, that feeds my soul as well, and, mm -hmm. and time with my family and, and friends and time where I can just relax. I feel, you know, I feel very, I feel like every day is a gift because I was never supposed to have these days, you know. I was supposed yeah. to be in crippling pain, you know, popping pain pills and depressed, I guess, you know. But, so every day is, is wonderful and I love the modalities that I practice. I really believe in them. I believe that there are other ways that people can awaken. I believe it's all about connecting with our soul. Yeah. And when you do that, you're unlimited. And having worked um, worked with, with the public for a few years now, a number of years now, do you notice a global shift in, I, I call it consciousness? Oh, I, yeah. I notice it big yeah. time. When I started, you know, like I said, I always did a lot of research. I was always seeing what other sites are around that are doing similar things. Who, who can I network with? Mm. And when I began, you know, there, there were definitely, there were a few, you know, sites that I could go to and, and learn from. Now I can't even, I can't even count the number of people out there doing similar things to what I'm doing, doing it in different ways. Yeah. People out there raising consciousness. Um, I guess Marianne Williamson sa says that there's needs to be eleven percent of people to be conscious for like the worldwide tipping point. Oh, I haven't heard that. So I, you know, I believe we got to be close. It's it yeah. feels like, and I mean, I surround myself with people that are conscious in my community. You know, yeah. there there's a healing group I'm a collective I'm parting I'm part of that. You know, there's over 70 of us members, mm -hmm. and that's not all the healers and wellness practitioners in our area by a long shot, and we're not a huge community. Yeah. I believe there's a huge shift going on. Fantastic. And um, speaking about the different the different websites, etc., what um, Heroes of Healing? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about your blog and your, your site and the Heroes of Healing? Yeah, here's I started Heal Pain Naturally, which is my blog. Uh, right, right when I healed, I wrote an ebook, and I said, okay, well, how do I market this? And I knew nothing about marketing, so I joined this uh, site called the Thirty Day Challenge, where these two wonderful guys teach you how to start a blog and website and really internet market for free. And through that, I was like, you mean I can learn about healing, write about healing, and, you know, network with like-minded people? So I found, you know, my love of blogging and started Heal Pain Naturally, and I think I'd been writing that about a year and a half when, in a very guided moment, you know, I was thinking, actually, I think I was meditating before I went in the shower and was like, you know, I, I need to do something. I just feel like I need something for, for my site. And, you know, I went into the shower and the words Heroes of Healing just came to me and I said, you know what, I'm going to get as many, I know wonderful bloggers now, I'm going to get as many wonderful writers as I can to write about the people that have inspired them so that we have a resource where someone can go, because I really feel that everyone resonates with different people. It can take one sentence to change your life. Mm -hmm. And the more people you're exposed to, the more teachers, the more chance there, better chance there is that you'll find one of those those words or that philosophy. So each each person that I asked wrote about their experience with with the hero, um, a little bit about that hero, and included a video of that person speaking or an audio, and also information and resources to find out more. So I really feel it's a great place for people to go and just. Just kind of click on the pictures that you know uh, that resonate. resonate with you, so you can see and learn a little bit more, and go from one to another. And 
there's so many free resources on the internet. I mean, we didn't have, you know, I didn't have a ton of money when I was on my healing, you know, beginning my healing journey, and I found everything I needed on the internet, you know, or, you know, at the, you could go to the library, you know, I had I'd my, some of my family bought me books, but you really don't even need to spend money to yeah. do this work. Amazing. And what's been your inspiration to go down this path? Uh, my own healing, <laughs> you know, really just knowing that I, what I believed wasn't reality. Yeah. Uh, I was told what my reality would be and that that was not the case and I don't believe there's anything super special about me. I believe that everyone has this power in them, everyone has their soul that they can connect to and get their inner strength from mm -hmm. and and be limitless and do do the impossible. And the paging me system, mm -hmm. do you want to talk just a moment about that? For sure. Me? That is, after, after healing, I came up with, I was thinking about all the different tools that I use to heal myself and I came up with the acronym paging me, so it's like getting, waking up your consciousness, yeah. you know? <laughs> Uh, getting in touch with your soul and it is an acronym. The P is for pardoning yourself and others, which is very important and one a lot of people get a little hung up on, you know, whether it's blaming others for situations or blaming yourself. I had a lot of self-blame uh, once I found out that my thoughts had probably made my diseases worse and, you know, contributed to me laying in bed for the better part of six years. It's pretty hard on myself, you know, mm -hmm. I had missed things, I missed opportunities. So it's all about forgiveness of yourself and others because not, it doesn't mean that everything was okay and went the way you wanted it to. It just means that my life begins now and, and it's okay. And I did the best, you know, Deepak Chopra's quote that I love, um, everyone is doing the best they can from their own state of consciousness. I really believe that. I didn't intentionally cause my illnesses. I didn't know any better, my mind was on automatic pilot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, peace, if you get past that stuff, you're doing great, because <laughs> I think that's one of the hardest ones. A is attention shifting, that's shifting from what hurts and what's bad to, to what's good. Yeah, almost every part of my body hurt, almost all the time. Mm -hmm. So if I had to focus all my energy on my little finger and say, I'm so grateful my little finger doesn't hurt and if part of me is healthy that means more of me can be healthy and just saying things like I'm getting better every day you know mm -hmm. things that are believable G is gratitude like I said before that was major to shift for me to a place mm -hmm. of gratitude and to feel it not to just say it not mm -hmm. just rattle off some kind of list yeah mom dad whatever I'm grateful blah 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 <laughs> you know it's really about connecting and thinking about each person and each thing you're grateful for and feeling it mm -hmm. I is influences and this is twofold too it's the media <laughs> is part of it are you feeding yourself with news and the negative negative news uh, I was you know I was laying around so I was checking the news and that was not helping me. Mm -hmm. uh, influences also who you surround yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with people that take your energy, with energy vampires? Are you surrounding with some people that feed your soul that mm -hmm. are positive? N is for no negative self-talk and that is a hard one too. That's really becoming aware of it and stopping yourself when you when you notice it. You're not going to notice it all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, your mind's always going and there are mm -hmm. certain situations where your mind's going to be rattling off horrible things. You know, I was appalled when I stopped to listen to myself, really. Mm -hmm. But it's about being kind to yourself and forgiving yourself for those moments too and just correcting them as mm -hmm. they come, even if it's afterwards saying, hmm, maybe I could have looked at that a little mm -hmm. differently.